lot of ways she's not near I know why, but it's keeping me awake We should reminisce, but stay the same I like saying the two of our names Um, because I haven't talked in this vlog, I don't think, yet. But, welcome! And I hope you enjoyed the first little bit. I just got home from our trip in the Yarra Valley, literally like 15 minutes ago. Um, me and Toby got home and then within like 10 minutes, the boys were off to play golf. So now I'm here, but I'm actually fine because I'm just like happy to chill. I have some uh, editing that I want to do. I want to unpack and everything just so I can like get that out of the way. Unpacking is the worst in my opinion. So yeah, that's my afternoon. It's two o'clock. So that is an update. Me and Toby obviously went to the Yarra Valley. Um, we went for two nights and it was just like a little um, post semester getaway. We were kind of on a budget, we're trying to save money, both of us, so we got these glamping pods at a big four uh, holiday park and I, they were so good, I highly recommend. We didn't pay for an ensuite room, but we got upgraded to an ensuite room, which was so lucky, and I don't know now if I could go back and not have an ensuite, but um, yeah, it was really good, it was nice and cold, and there was... Yeah, a heap of stuff around to do, so we had a really good time. There was lots of just like relaxing and sitting there reading, doing puzzles. <laughs> like we were just like being old like nanas. Like seriously, we did not nothing really that exciting. But that's exactly just what we wanted to do is just like switch off and do not much. So yeah, it was a really good time. I'm just um arranging my flowers that you would have seen that I got from the, it's called Big Bouquet. 
it was like a flower alpaca farm and I got while I was in uh, we went to Hillsville which was the kind of closest town to where we were staying we went to Salvo's and the op shops there and I got a few little vases I got this one six dollars <laughs> and then I got this little cute one and I also got a water jug which is so cute. I've been looking for a water jug for so long, but this could also double as a vase if I need it to. But I'm just trying to sort these flowers, make them look all nice. This one's kind of bent and I don't know if that means that it's dead or if I can revive it. to show you my monitor and my desk update so I thought I'd give you a quick update on my desk because I have bought a new monitor obviously it arrived just before I left so I haven't really used it even um, that much but I'm so excited my desk is so important to me having like a productive space I would spend so much money on a productive workspace because I think it's just so worth it and that's why I'm so happy that I have my monitor now so I thought I'd show you I got it it was the end of financial year sale so I got it from Lenovo and I need to fix the desk it doesn't go down properly which means that this is unstable but for now it kind of looks okay so it plugs into that I'm going to be using it as the main screen instead of as a um second display so this will be my main display and then this will be my second display if that makes sense my keyboard and mouse connect via bluetooth to that which means it connects to that so basically um i had a quick go at like how i would use it the other day basically it'll just be like a desktop computer and then that can be my second screen so yeah it's um i'm so excited but i had to shuffle my desk around a little bit i'm still trying to figure out the best way to have everything and it's kind of like the desk's just not big enough and it's weird because I got a big desk like this is a huge desk and I still just can't fit everything that I want to fit on it um mainly because like over here I've got my essentials normally I don't have this on my desk but I've got my lamp which can sit over here in the corner that's fine I've got my flowers um which I've just trimmed you would have seen so they're a little bit thinner now they don't take as much width up and then this is my coffee mug and I would love to put my um water jug on here as well but I just don't know <laughs> where we're gonna find the room for that then my laptop will sit here plug in to that which is all fine it's got I've got this little stand which I've had for a while now I think I got it off Amazon um so that's a good setup there and then but then it kind of like covers the pretty part of my desk so I don't know if it's worth having that stuff back there or if I should move this over to here where you'll see it more so maybe that might be a better option this is my phone stand which i love to have on my desk because when i'm studying i put it up there it's good for um filming and it's just good like to have access to my phone like that i don't know if that makes sense keeps it off my desk i don't know i just like um having that that's also from amazon the main issue i guess which i'm still trying to work out is my monthly planner which i showed you in my last vlog i think it was um, and I actually need to, today's the 1st of July, so I need to start my new one. But I would love to have this sitting out on my desk. Um, but it doesn't really fit anywhere because it's so wide when I have my computer stuff here. It just seems really cluttered and like I normally use my mouse like over here. So I was thinking of using it as a mouse pad, but then my sticky note situation is ruined the other thing that I'm trying to figure out in my room which is taking a lot of trial and error and I'm basically shifting things every day are my plants I have quite a few plants but they're all big but not big enough they're, they're all medium-sized so they won't fit like on my bedside table on there 
but I have nowhere else to put them. So I don't know, I'm trying to like move everything around. I just need either small plants or bigger plants. These plants are just an inconvenient size. like I need a second bed side table to even it out because maybe it's the lack of symmetry but I also don't really want to buy another bedside table if I don't have a use for it like I'm the only one who lives in this room kind of thing like I don't need one okay so this is option a but like Obviously, just the, the layout-ish. I'm not a huge fan. I'm gonna try and swap around that and that, which is gonna be a huge pain in the ass because um, everything's plugged in. Other than me, back since 2013. I know that I shouldn't put you on a pedestal because everything is great and I need to be more critical, but I'm so sick of watching pain dry. Staring out the window. It has been a couple of days since I have talked to you. Ignore my skin, please. We are having a bit of an issue with it at the moment. I think it's hormonal acne. Um, and I think it has to do with the uh, pills that I'm on. Um, <laughs> lol. Like, my, I'm on the pill and I'm also on the IUD to help with my endometriosis. So... I think what's happening is my skin's just like my hormone levels are all out of whack I'm pretty sure so I need I'm going to the doctor tomorrow um and hopefully it like I can get some like something to sort it out because it's just like in the past month just flared up but I also refuse to put <laughs> makeup on for to film just to film this vlog so you're getting the very raw uh, me. It is Sunday today. I have just recorded my podcast. I Today is my first day that I'm not working this week. I just been working a heap uh, at the moment in the holidays, um, doing like my normal jobs, but also doing nannying and babysitting uh, as well. So I have been pretty hectic this week with like, yeah, work and stuff. So it's nice today to have a clear day, nothing on my schedule, um, I love it. So I have been at my boyfriend's this morning, uh, we just had pancakes and then I had to go to the chemist and I've been recording my podcast, I've done some washing, it's 1pm now, so yeah, I'm feeling good. I have a little bit to update you on and... Um, I'm very excited. I firstly wanted to show you some of the stuff that I got yesterday. Actually, I'll just show you all of it. Uh, the stuff that I got yesterday at the Finders Keepers Markets in Melbourne, uh, the Exhibition Centre. Oh my god. I was literally in heaven the whole day. It was just like a collection of the cutest little market stalls and I had a bit of a splurge. And it's okay because this is my first splurge in a long time and I think it was well deserved because I've been working so hard this week um, but I got some really really beautiful stuff so I thought I would show you oh my gosh you guys look at this I literally have a pancake on my bed <laughs> these are all the cards that I oh no that I collected I was literally just walking around like picking up all of the business cards um, and some of them are so cute as well. So I think I might make like a little like mural kind of thing on my wall behind my computer. Um, but I want to get like a felt board to put them on. But what I did last night was I got home, went through every single one of these and followed them all on Instagram. That was a long task, but um, I found some really, really cute little businesses. So yay. Um, the first thing that I'll show you, and I'll 
bring up the Instagram. The Instagram is at Charlie. And I got this coaster and double-sided. So freaking cute. I've had it on this side because I think it fits with my desk the best. But if I ever want to mix it up, and I'll show you what it looks like. So this is my cup that sits on my desk, this one. And this is my desk situation at the moment. And it just is so cute. I love it. And I think it just fits so well with like the, the desk theme. So yeah. From that same shop, Sha Shali, I bought this jumper. And oh my god, how cute is it? It is literally me in a jumper. Okay, I think my favourite purchase, at least my favourite shop from the day, is called Chimericle Homewares, I think. I don't even know if you guys can read this, so I might just put them up on the screen. But I think this was my favourite shop that we went to. Oh my gosh, I really wanted to get everything that they had. So, the one thing that I got from there, this cushion cover, um, I put it on a cushion last night, and... Ow. <laughs> it's so cute and I wish I could show you with my bed um but obviously everything's in the wash but it looks so good with my bed because this is the same color as my Duna cover this is the same color as my sheets the whole vibe of the room just works with this and so this was I think this is my favorite purchase um I love it so much I also got from Lucy Jane again I'll put it on the screen Lucy Dra Jane Ceramics I'm pretty sure it is I got this ring holder and from a, another ceramics shop I got some rings that are not very I would never wear them I have nothing like this before sorry no I would never wear them but I don't have any rings like this and I loved them and they're so unique and every single they just had a massive bowl of rings and me and my housemate Carly stood there for ages like digging through every single one of them and trying them all on because they were all individual and unique but I ended up choosing two and these are them I don't know if you can really see them I'm still trying to figure out like how to wear them um, which fingers they look best on also which fingers they fit on but I just love the style of them and I'll show you a close up in a second. How cute! I also got some reusable things from a shop called Natural Industry. Um, I got, I can't be bothered to show you because I'm all over the place, but I got some reusable face wipes so I can use them in the shower and stuff. I got a reusable microwave popcorn bag so you can just put the corn kernels in there and pop them instead because we do eat quite a bit of popcorn uh, especially me and Toby but I feel like it's so much better than buying packets of popcorn in those plastic bags especially also cheaper as well um, and then I also bought like a little lunch uh, kit kind of thing like something to wrap my sandwiches up in which I'm sure I'll show you when we go back to uni but yeah, so that was my haul. I think that was everything. The other thing, this is gonna be, <laughs> this is gonna be a long video, so I'm gonna keep this one short, and maybe I can um, show you some more in my next vlog. But I have been doing quite a bit of rearranging of my room, which I don't know was I can't remember what, where we're up to in the vlogs. Maybe it was in this vlog. The other day, I saw on Facebook someone posted saying, "I'm moving out, and I've got a heap of plants. If anyone wants them." So Toby and I went over and he helped me carry these plants down from the third floor all the way down to my car and let me just show you how many plants we picked up. So these are all of our <laughs> plants, um, if it's going to focus. So there's quite a few and there's like stacks, they're stacked up and we literally went from having like none to having a heap in um, a couple of days because I also picked these ones up from Facebook and I'd potted them. I picked this big guy off Facebook and I need to pot him in a pot. And we've been doing, obviously I've just been doing a little bit of potting, trying to revive some plants. Me and Toby 
uh, painted our own little pots as well that I need to put some plants into. But literally we have just like, we're covered. We've got so many plants and there's more inside as well. Still I 